quick revision video on ionic equations and be sure to subscribe for new content. Okay, so we'll start with the essentials. Ionic equations only include species involved in a chemical reaction. In other words, only the things that are changed. Soluble ionic compounds and strong acids and bases are shown as their constituent ions and they are indicated in the equation by the AQ state symbol. Insoluble ionic compounds and covalent compounds shown as their chemical formulae and they are indicated by the solid, gas or liquid state symbols in the chemical equation. Any ions found on both sides of the equation are cancelled out and obviously these ions aren't changed so they are referred to as spectator ions. So basically if a substance is aqueous in the chemical equation you need to separate into the ions that it's made from. If it's solid, liquid or gas, leave it alone. So we'll put all that into practice for these four equations. So they're balanced chemical equations and we're going to turn them into ionic equations. If you want to have a go at those, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the first one, focusing in on the state symbols, you can see we've got solid there, so that stays as it is. Aqueous, we're going to separate this into its ions. Likewise for this, that stays as H2O and that stays as CO2. So we get this, so just pick up on the aqueous substances. Two uh, moles of HCl is actually two moles of H plus ions and two moles of Cl minus ions. Remember that two, that coefficient there, doubles everything. So two of each. Likewise for the sodium chloride, two Na plus ions two Cl minus ions. And so you can see we've got two Cl minus ions either side, so they're gonna cancel out, they're your spectator ions. So what's left is the ionic equation, and so it looks like that. So the next one now, so obviously we need to separate these two into the ions, so we get this, and you can see that the common ion is the sulfate ion, so they're going to cancel and therefore the final ionic equation looks like that. So the third one now, you can see we've got three aqueous substances, so they're all going to have to go into ions. Remember this two means two moles of the sodium ion and two moles of the chloride ion. So we get this and then cancel what we can left and right. So the chlorides go and so do the sodium ions. So all we're left with for the ionic equation is that. And then finally, a classic neutralization equation here. So in terms of um, ions present, we've got all of those. So two Na pluses and two OH minuses from the sodium hydroxide. Two H pluses, because it's H2. So two H pluses one sulfate ion, and then we've got two sodium ions, one sulfate ion, and obviously the two moles of water stay as they are. So the ions that cancel are the sodium ions and the sulfate ions. So that leaves us with this, and what we should do is because we've got twos in front of everything, we should get rid of those, and the ionic equation would be expressed as that.